Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So we did this video. This was a Patreon-only video. Lots of different things in there. Uh, we titled it 2024, the year of the World War and Global Revolution all at the same time. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's just going to be a year full of all sorts of craziness. And, you know, hang on tight. Escalations. Yeah, absolutely. You know, then, and we were kind of giving a little timeline there. And we were talking about Ecuador. We'll give you an update, update over there. Meanwhile, Papua New Guinea. People have been killed. Shops and businesses set on fire in the capital of Papua New Guinea after police went on strike over pay. According to the local governor, their government has called in the defense forces in an attempt to restore or order amid widespread violence and looting in the capital of Port Moresby. Government later promised money would be made up to the workers in their second pay packet of the year. Meanwhile, meanwhile as you can see, uh, it's just complete chaos. This is also in Papua New Guinea. Here you see arson and looting, opportunists uh, taking advantage of the fact there's no police there and burning some factories and buildings to the ground. There was a stadium, it looked like, that was on fire as well. Just craziness and chaos as we see more scenes. This is the world in 2024. Um, 2024, as, as we've been saying uh, for a while, will be kind of like, uh, in so many ways, the peak. It feels like it's the peak, and then things will shift a little bit. Not necessarily be over, but it feels there'll be there'll be a this. Well, this is going to be the year of boom, <laughs> and then there'll be uh, a transition period after that. And you know, just hang on tight. Definitely, I'm looking at this thing burn up. I'm not even sure what it is, but it's huge and almost. Almost looks like it might be part of a prison camp or something. And if that's the case, they're releasing a lot of people from there. And I don't know if that's good either. But yeah, I mean, a lot of I think a lot of soft spots are going to be hit. And by soft spots, I mean places that really matter, places that are going to wreak a lot of havoc. You know, I, I saw a post earlier today that um, was talking about how almost every single CONS piracy theory ends up being proven to have truth in it, if not be completely, uh, completely correct, or even maybe not uh, explain the whole situation uh, well enough in that, you know, the situation is even worse than what the CONS piracy theory was stating. And it, there were statements out there that Venezuela, for instance, had emptied its prisons, sent them all in the migrant caravans. Yeah, you just got to think about the chaos that's, that is being unleashed. Now, here we see the president of Ecuador, and there's the president of Argentina. And you see Argentina, Colombia, and Bolivia all propose sending troops to Ecuador to fight drug cartels. Now, remember back, Venezuela is taking over the country to its east, <laughs> or half of it. Uh, they're claiming it for natural resources. And don't forget, there are ships going down there. There's military going down there from the UK and the, and the US to, to watch over this whole thing and watch the escalation. To me, this all feels uh, like parts of that WW3 that's that's kicking off in different ways. So when I you know had shared information about these two guys, these two guys are puppets, and really the, these these are uh, weefers. I guess we could call them weefers, mm -hmm. members of the few. You know you know what we mean. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it's the same situation with Bolivia. I haven't looked, but. You know, I think this is all about prepositioning, and this is all about getting ready for that WW3, which um, I still feel it it's going to keep escalating, but I think you'll see the big-time warfare kicking off in April. That's, that's what it feels like, and that's what it's always kind of felt like. Um, but, you know, it could absolutely start any moment with everything that we are seeing going on here. 
So, you know, think about this. Now, the United States has also announced its desire to help, but without the participation of the military, as the U.S. Uh, is having a very hard time offering 50K for anybody to come join the military. And, you know, we're, we're certainly stretched then, to say the least. And then you have the problem that there were certain uh, dates for men, is the term I like to use, and not all cures are exactly alike, and some cures um, move a lot faster uh, on the road uh, to the funeral director than others, if you know what I mean. And you know, trying to skirt around it being this is a YT uh, vid and others as well. But yeah, you got nine military bases that the U.S. has concentrated in Colombia. Yeah, you got the brand new president of Argentina uh, gave the country to the states, so to speak, because Argentina was going to join BRICS. And now, no, we're not joining BRICS because, you know, again, uh, actor here, actor here, they, they are acting as presidents, you know, but they are actors. These guys are actors. They're all actors. That's that's the big reveal. Some better than others. Um yeah, absolutely. You know, it's just, it, it's it's getting ready to kick off. I mean, they even got the Joker and Batman in this. Mm -hmm. I don't know about this one. It looks like they're having a good time and uh, pretty crazy. So I just think it's a little bit awkward, but I don't think we've seen anything yet. No, I, I wouldn't even be surprised if you see Transformers appearing uh, yeah, in more ways than one. Meanwhile, another subway train derails in Brooklyn. Second derailment in New York's uh, mass transit system in less than a week. That feels a little bit weird. And, of course, we had explosions. Then we had people down in tunnels. And then we had uh, things like high chairs discovered in those tunnels. Um, there was a real nasty occurrence that was discovered in Texas along the same line that uh, I don't want to talk about on this channel. Um, it, not a good situation. Don't ever, ever leave the little ones with people you don't under, you know, know who they are. That, that is just insanity. In uh, these times, there's a lot of things that are insane, though. Russia's Ministry of Emergency Situations brings you their regularly scheduled programming of Moscow on fire. Yes, and more strikes uh, happening in Russia. Belgorod has been hit numerous times. Moscow has been hit too numerous times. And I just want to reiterate, like if, if we were in this situation and we were seeing, uh, you know, California, Texas, New Mexico uh, being targeted, uh, because there was, you know, war going on in, in Mexico or something. Uh, certainly, it would be uh, something that would be very upsetting to us and, and would draw a lot of people into uh, going along with some form of retribution. And this is what this is all about. Again, it's all about lighting the fires for that WW3. The UN Security Council demands immediate end to the Houthi Red Sea attacks, which keep increasing. Uh, as we were talking about in this morning's earlier video, the number of military ships just keeps increasing on both sides over in that area. Hezbollah has formally declared a state of war against Israel through an official announcement on their website. And again, they are very well armed, very, very well armed compared to Hamas. U.S. officials assess there's a risk a rising risk, we should say, Lebanese militants will strike Americans in the Middle East and even in potentially hit inside the United States. Well, how many illegals that came from this area are in the U.S.? Probably hundreds of thousands is the reality. Hundreds of thousands. Yes, we are in for that roller coaster ride. Here you have Ted Cruz. I can tell you Border Patrol agents are very, very concerned about Hamas and Hezbollah terrorists coming across. And of course, 46 and Mayorkas don't care. They're looking the other way. Well, that's because, of course, you know, they they are just following their orders. And, and they don't work for the American people. It should be pretty damn obvious. But the thing is, we got to recognize uh, the bigger picture and stop thinking of ourselves in these nationalities first and foremost and recognize that they're using humanity to 
cause more and more um, just atrocities against humanity. It, it, this is manipulating us in every way they possibly can to go ahead and basically attack ourselves. When we start to look at it in that light, then maybe we'll start to be able to shift the paradigm. Well, the best example I've ever heard of is, is you know, if you have red ants and black ants, they'll get along just fine. They'll be very peaceful with one another. And, you know, let's say somebody picks up the aquarium of red ants and black ants and they shake it, shake the snot out of it. These poor guys are going to go after each other. And, and just keep in mind that there is that third party that's unknown, that's unseen, that's not necessarily completely understood. And that's what we are dealing with. We are the red ants and the black ants in that aquarium. And they're shaking it. And they're trying to get us to react uh, against each other. And if as long as we're, you know, have the anger pointed at one another, we're not going to be turning around and looking for any other source to blame. Meanwhile, New York City students kicked out of their high school and pushed into remote learning in order to house 2,000 illegal migrants. Yet there are reports that migrants are being evicted from New York City hotels, 5,000 eviction notices issued by Mayor Adams. And you got to recognize this is a UN operation. This is the United Nations working. This is the, you know, a higher echelon of the governance that that is doing this entire thing and it's part of their big r e s e t yes and and this happens on a regular basis and i know there's a lot of you out there that have studied uh, about and looked into tartaria and other civilizations that have been here on the planet and and have started to question how often does this happen? Because again, the numbers don't add up when we look at population throughout the centuries. Not at all. Not, not, not at all. And we need to recognize that again, these people, in many cases, what are, where are they leaving? Well, you know, they're leaving, a lot of them left Venezuela, which went through incredible economic hardship. Why? Well, because the U.S. did sanctions. Why? Because they didn't like the leader. And and again, this is the governments. The governments don't work for us. They never have worked for us. I don't care if it's China, Russia, or the U.S. You know, if you think back to the glory days when old Rum was in the White House, Ronnie Reagan, you know, again, when he wasn't doing bedtime for Bonzo playing with monkeys, he was in Bohemian Grove. No, Who knows what was going on there? They do strange rituals and burn effigies. And yes, it goes all the way back, it feels, to Moloch and, uh, and those times. Yeah, nothing has really changed in thousands of years. And, and again, we can't be broken up into left versus right because that serves the bigger purpose. Got to recognize what's going on here. So if you're looking at Venezuela, these people were literally starving and, and killing cows in the fields in order to take a leg home to feed their family. That's how bad it was. How about Iraq? Lots of people probably came here from Iraq, from Syria, from Afghanistan, places that the U.S. and NATO have bombed to oblivion. Do you think they're going to like us? No, of course not. So this is all an intentional cycle of abuse that just never ends until humanity says, uh, we get it, you're not fooling us anymore, uh, we see what you're doing. It's going to take a lot of that. And it's going to take a lot of, uh, you know, taking a, a bigger picture approach. And so here we see, you know, 8 million people that they know of crossing over illegally since 46 came in office the last you know three three years that's a lot of people uh and it's just ever increasing and and again this is meant to be a left right thing this is very much meant to be left right because that's going to light the whole country totally on fire meanwhile we have a large evacuation announced on flores island in indonesia it's the uh, Levotobi volcano, which has been ongoing erupting for over a month now. Um, and, you know, again, there's a lot of active volcanoes going on right now in the planet. And there, there are a lot of natural earth changes going on. However, as much as there is natural earth changes, there's a lot of that artificial flavoring involved. 
you know, we really got to work on sticking, uh, sticking our necks out for each other in some ways, you know, not being afraid to put your two cents in and, and share. And, you know, it's tough to try to wake up uh, the zombies of the world. And yes, this is absolutely a zombie apocalypse. And, but again, apocalypse is unveiling and, and we're, we're seeing the reality of the system. And more and more people are waking up, yet there's so much more work to be done. We have to stand up and try to protect each other, try, try to work with each other, because they're pitting us against each other. You look at the farmers out there, and this is over in, in Germany, you know, again, oh, well, you know, global warming. Yeah, but what about ice sheets growing? What about record cold as well, as well as the record warmth coming from sources that we really can't trust? And just the fact that we're in an interglacial period, interglacial. We just got done with an ice age and, and interglacial. Well, technically, we're still in an ice age. We're just in a period of, of warming a little from that ice age. In the bigger scheme of things, the Earth has been much, much warmer. And there's been much more bountiful life on the planet. It's the cold that actually is more dangerous than, than the warmth. We understand it's all about a bigger purpose. And their bigger purpose is absolute, complete control. So when you're telling us, well, we got to stop farming. You know, no, no, yeah, we don't believe you anymore. There's nothing but lies coming from above. More and more and more people are getting it. So that's that's the good news. And, and we can't just stop here. We have to keep going. It's like, because they're going to keep going on with, with their story. You know, they're going to keep pushing forward uh, their laws. And they're going to keep pressing the plant-based meat. And they're going to keep pressing, oh, you know, I mean the world is overpopulated they're not going to stop and until they reach their goal of ultimate control that means our job is far from done we need to push back absolutely we can all get along there's plenty of room there's absolute plenty of room and in fact if we spent even a fraction of what we do on death and destruction towards creating uh truly sustainable alternative ways of doing things it, it wouldn't take any time to create a heaven on earth we really could it's just one problem and that's the system indeed source bless namaste namaste